Hello, I'm Ron Birdie, and uh, this is another of the editions of uh, the Mavix series of how-to videos. And in this case, we'll be describing how to do recording with Mavix. Uh, here we have uh, the PowerStream Plus uh, software running and a Mavix 6150 that I'll choose to use out of the two that are there. And in the interface, we see there's some processes and some defaults already set up, a number of inputs and so on. But we'll just take a look at the recording and start uh, by enabling a recording. So first I hit a recording, create a recording within the process. Um, and there's a couple of ways to start uh, a recording. One is via PowerStream by hitting the enable recording button and then hitting apply. Um, but uh, before I do that, I have to set a name or a, sorry, a location for the recording. I have one that's already set up. It's on the network. It's recording to a NAS. And the next thing I want to do is basically assign a button because I want to do it manually. I could start the record by simply clicking the re enable record button and then hitting apply in the lower right hand corner. But in this case, I'm not going to do that. So I won't apply. I'm going to set a button for manual recording. I'll choose button number one and uh, I'll set a file name prefix. So we'll call it uh, uh, test one. Uh, we'll call that our recording uh, at this point, uh, or that'll be the name for it. And now I'll apply. So the recording hasn't started, but now my button is assigned. So I'll go to my 6150 that I drilled into in the PowerStream software that's represented here. I'll press the one button, and now we see it's recording. You see in the interface, under the recording part of the interface, there's a red button, typical for recording indication in most places. And then let's go look at our NAS and see if it's uh, got one started. It has, there's one here started at the top, so we'll let it run a little bit. I'll show a little bit of movement of the screen. We'll go back and forth. And now I'll stop the button manually by pressing it. And the light goes off. And now just to refresh the screen uh, of the file explorer, now the file's there. We'll click on it and there's my video. And if I just click up here, you'll start to see the movement that I made of the uh, screen. And one of the other ways that you can do recording, we talked about setting um, the button itself manually to start recording on the device itself. And previously we talked about uh, enabling recording from PowerStream via the software. But another way in the software is to schedule a recording. So you can schedule recordings to occur at some point in the future. And you can schedule a large recording, very long, or uh, like we talked about before, there's a time, a file block duration. And during your scheduled recording, it'll keep recording those segments. So in other words, if I set it for one minute, it'll keep recording and I set the recording time for one hour, it'll have 60 segments of one minute within that hour. Thanks for watching.